We bring you the latest updates from the PNA Newsroom. Classes are suspended in both public and private schools in Metro Manila and other provinces in northern Luzon due to the effects of Typhoon Henry. In Metro Manila, classes are suspended in Caloocan City, Manila, Paranaque, Pasay, Pasig City, Quezon City, Taguig, Valenzuela, Marikina City, and Malabon. Classes are also suspended in Pangasinan, Baguio City, Batanes, Zambales, La Trinidad, Benguet, Tuba, Benguet, and Cagayan. Under the new rule of the Department of Education, in-person and online classes from kindergarten to high school are automatically cancelled in schools situated in areas under signal number 1 to 5. In-person and online classes from kindergarten to senior high school are also automatically cancelled in schools situated in areas declared under the yellow, orange, and red rainfall warning signal by Pagasa. Interior Secretary Ben Abalos said this line is open for a dialogue with Cebu City Mayor Michael Rama. This following Abalos' announcement that Rama has decided to defer the implementation of Executive Order No. 5, which makes face masks optional in their locality. Rama said the city government intends to push through with the implementation of the said local policy. Abalos acknowledged the miscommunication, noting that he respects the decision of Rama. He said his line will always be open to give Rama the opportunity to explain his position and the basis for the citywide order, as he noted the importance of harmonizing existing laws and policies for the benefit of the people. Abalos also reiterated this commitment to make Cebu City a pilot city that will help assess the lifting of face mask protocols. For its part, the Department of Health said the number of COVID-19 cases must stabilize first before the government can lift the mandatory face mask policy. DOH officer in charge Maria Rosario Vergere said COVID-19 in the country is not yet in its endemic stage where immunity is high. Meanwhile, Philippine Federation of Professional Association Vice President Dr. Benito Atienza said the government must continue the face mask policy as face masks can prevent other illnesses such as flu and pneumonia. Commission on Elections Chair George Garcia wants to have an early deadline set for the filing of petition for accreditation of political parties and party list groups. Garcia said this will make them decide early on which political parties and party lists are eligible to participate in the May 2025 polls. The COMELEC started accepting applications for registration from political parties and party lists last month. Garcia noted instances where in the petitions have not been decided yet with just days before election day. The Omnibus Election Code states that a political party must be registered to gain a juridical identity, qualify for accreditation, and to entitle it to the rights and privileges granted to political parties. Meanwhile, the Party List System Act provides that any organized group may register as a party list group by filing a petition with the COMLEC. The Department of Human Settlements and Urban Development recognizes the role of the local government units in addressing the housing problem in the country. The Sud Secretary Jose Acosar said the local government units are key components to gradually address and eventually put an end to the challenges in the housing sector. So far, Acosar had met with Mayors Marcelino Chodoro of Marikina, Rufi Biazon of Muntinglupa, Vico Soto of Pasig City, Ginny Sandoval of Malabon, Dale Malapitan of Caloocan, Francis Zamora of San Juan, and Imelda Calixto Rubian of Pasay. Acosar shared these plans on how to engage private developers and financial institutions for faster completion of projects. That's the latest from the PNA Newsroom. Stay tuned for more updates on the biggest stories throughout the day. I'm Marita Moahe. Stay safe and have a good day.